all right guys what is going on PSCRT here with a new video um, so today what I'm going to be talking about and doing is actually an old video series that I didn't finish um, but that is going to be a step-by-step -step how to start your own Pokemon hack so common question I get is uh, how do I use Poke Crystal? how do I make my own Pokemon ROM hack uh, I want to go ahead and try and make my own um, I know this assembly might seem intimidating at first but it's actually pretty simple to use so um, this whole first episode is just going to be about getting the game installed and building the game for yourself. So, without further ado, this is the GitHub for Poke Crystal. Um, just go on Google or any other search engine, you type in uh, Poke Crystal, this should be the first link. Um, there's the URL at the top, github.com slash pret slash Poke Crystal. So, you're going to go here. What I recommend doing is making your own GitHub account. GitHub account so that you can go ahead and um, put your own game up on your own, own um, profile. So they do have an install MD here. Um, generally, if people ask me in Discord, I do tell them just to check out the install instructions here. I personally do not use this, so the Windows subsystem for Linux is what they recommend for Windows 10. I personally do not use this, so. What I use instead is an older method from their install MD from about 2016, 2017. It still works, it is a bit slow. So this is the method, since I am familiar with it, that I will be going over. So this is Sijuan. Um, Sijuan still works for the purposes of this video. So if you do want to do the recommended thing and check this out, I do recommend just reading this very carefully. I don't really understand it, and I'm not going to switch over at this point. I've been working with Sidwin for five years now. Um, anyway, so first of all, you're going to go ahead and get Sidwin here. So they have their website here. Um, hopefully you're running a 64-bit computer at this point. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, it's going to be this one. So you're going to want to set up... And... Looks like I have it downloaded already, but perfect. Um, when you open up the setup here, you're going to go to that. It's going to put it in your C directory, which is fine. Yep. Doesn't matter which mirror you use, I choose the default one. Now, if we follow these instructions, um, in this installer, it's going to ask us to pick some packages. Now, I should have these packages already selected, but I'm going to show you just real quick. So, because this is confusing for a lot of people here. So, here's the package installer. What you're going to do in the search engine here, you're going to type in make. Um, Here's make right here. So you're gonna do just just the one that says make. Um, then git, of course. This is what lets you use GitHub commands. So as you see, I already have it installed right here. Though so mine is outdated, so I will go ahead and update that. And then GCC core, which as you see I have right here. So once you have those selected, you're going to hit next. It's going to update everything I have because I do have some additional packages from other projects that aren't necessarily Pokemon related. This is just going to update. I do believe my message might be outdated because it has been a while since I updated it. And while we're waiting on that, I just want to go over a couple things that you might want to get in the meantime. 
So you're going to need a text editor. Um, what I recommend is Notepad++. It's very simple to use and it gets the job done. Uh, it has everything you need. I would not use the regular Windows Notepad at all. Um, second thing I would get is if you want to start editing maps immediately or making your own maps, you want to get polished map here. So um, if you go into Google here and you type in polished map, it's going to be the first link. Um, once you're here, you go to releases and just download all the file uh, these two files here so install that back in uh, install that back in polished map.exe um, so when you do install your project once this finishes up here we are going to go ahead and put those in the same folder as the project and we go back to the install instructions here we do need rgbds so go to rgbds Your, this is the latest release, I think. Just in case, let me double check. Yes. So it is 0 0.5.1. Um, you'll download this. I will I already have it installed, but I will show you where to go ahead and install that. Um, once this finishes up here. Okay, perfect. The so Sigma is finished. Um, so once you install RGBDS, go ahead and this is our Sigwin folder right here um, in the C drive. Um, first off, you're going to open up the, the RAR file, the, uh, the, the archive file for RGBDS. You're going to go into a bin. It's going to be, let's see here, let me think for a second. user local bit um, so you'll open up the archive and you'll just extract all the files to right here um, pretty simple at that point now where your game is going to be you go to home it'll be the user's name right there so uh, these are all my projects so let me see it doesn't look like I have the default polka crystal installed so that's perfect for us So with Sichuan, I'm going to go ahead and copy this command right here. I'm going to clone the game. Perfect. And then you follow the second command, which is CD Poker Crystal. If you ever rename your folder, you will have to adjust for that. And it's going to take you to the Poker Crystal folder. So if we go back here, we see now that there is a folder called Poker Crystal, and these are our game files. Um, so again, with Polished here, I do have the uh, Polished map in another folder here. Find it. Um, so if you haven't installed Polish Map before, what you're going to want to do is also cap copy that install.bat and um, go ahead and run that, that program first before you go ahead and run Polish Map. Once you run it once, you're good to go. Um, and that'll do that. So let me just make sure this is working. It works fine. Perfect. So now that we're in our folder here for Poke Crystal, it is as simple as typing in make. And what it's going to do is it's going to take all those files and start to compile the ROM. Um, I don't know if the other method, the Windows 10 Linux subsystem, is any faster than this. I haven't tried it myself, but this does take a while for the first time you, you make the ROM. Okay, so the newest version of Poker Crystal does require the newest version of RGBDS, which I do not have installed. So let me go ahead. And grab that.
Okay. And it should let me make it now. Perfect. Um, so yes, it does have to go through every PNG that's in the, and, um, you know, bit, uh, bitmap that's in there um, for the first time. Afterwards, it's going to create files um, inside of the folders, so it doesn't have to do this every time. Unless you go in and change a sprite, um, any of the PNGs, it's not going to ever have to recompile them like this unless you have to make a clean ROM, which I will explain that. Sometimes you're going to get errors when you're making the game. Um, generally, the first thing you want to try is to make clean. So you'll type in that make command and then add the word clean to it, and it's going to rebuild the ROM from scratch, basically. So it's going to rebuild all the files again. Um good to do because sometimes some things don't update properly when you change them and um, it's usually a surefire way to make sure everything gets rebuilt um, from the PNG. This is going to take a while but anyway we're going to go back to our folder here and what this is going to make when this finishes is going to make a pokecrystal.gbc um as far as emulators for testing purposes i do recommend bgb it is probably the best game boy and game boy color emulator out there um go ahead and show that to you and it's gonna be right here so bgb emulator just download it um from right here the zip file uh, it's extremely lightweight and it does everything that you would ever need it to it has a debugger it has um, really accurate um, emulation definitely recommend it. I don't think it has link support so if you wanted to test trading to another player you would have to use something else um, there's an old emulator that I believe does support trading um, I'll have to follow up on that one but uh, anyway trading is going to be the least of our concerns right now right now we just want to build the game um, should be a few more minutes here hopefully it's almost done at this point looks like it's no longer working on the Pokemon sprites it's just on the tile sets and um, the minor graphics yeah so it's going to finish up here in just a second <laughs> or not <laughs> all right and we are back guys so it has finished building um we're gonna go right here and as you see we have our pokecrystal.gbc i already have bgb set up by default for game boy color games so as you can see we do have a functional pokemon crystal rom here um this is just the vanilla game there's no changes yet or anything like that so you can go through it And that's going to be the start to us making our own Pokemon. Um, so in the next episode, I'm going to talk about um, scripting and you know map making a little bit, just a general how you can get started. Um, but this is going to wrap up the first episode of how to make your own Pokemon ROM hack. I hope you all enjoyed. It.